uh, good morning everybody uh, welcome to c programming uh, i hope uh, this will be the last class uh, in uh, c programming uh, we are left with uh, two topics uh, one is uh, uh, union uh, the other one is uh, bit fields okay so we have already learnt uh, uh, structure so we have seen uh, how to declare a structure and then uh, how to uh, declare a uh, variable uh, uh, in the structure and then what all uh, a structure can uh, contain uh, and how to handle uh, structures uh, then uh, how to pass a structure uh, as a parameter to a function all those things uh, we have learnt in the last class um, now today i am going to deal with uh, these variations of uh, structures so in certain situation uh, the requirement will be something different so you cannot solve uh, uh, i mean with the structure uh, um, declaration of the structure so then you know that uh, uh, data type uh, can be different data types can be merged together to have a structure so when we have to handle that is nothing but a record record will contain different fields and uh, these different fields uh, belong to different data types so we can combine these uh, thing uh, using a structure variable uh, sometimes what happens uh, me memory is the real uh, issue in uh, c programming so the more the uh, uh, efficiency in memory uh, usage so better will be the program so in such uh, situations uh, so union uh, will definitely come to uh, help so what is this union union is a actually uh, uh, i mean uh, uh, it's another keyword which actually enables you to define a, uh, a kind of structure uh, which actually manages the memory uh, structure will not manage memory for example if there are three variables of three different data types so all uh, different uh, data types are uh, uh, allocated uh, with uh, respective memory so in i mean in different locations so that for example character uh, may have uh, occupy one byte and then uh, integer may occupy two bytes so depending upon uh, whether uh, what kind of uh, compiler or what kind of operating system uh, you are dealing with uh, very similar to uh, this uh, uh, even uh, for example uh, character array can occupy different uh, depending upon uh, the number of uh, uh, the elements in it so every uh, memory location is different from each other and uh, they don't actually uh, uh, i mean uh, overlap each other so in case of union it uh, i mean it handles in a different uh, way so let us see i mean uh, by writing a uh, program so how union can handle uh, efficiently it can handle so and uh, minimize the requirement of the memory so by using uh, union uh, instead of uh, structure of course this is uh, basically as good as a structure only thing that uh, we need to uh, replace uh, structure uh, value uh, i mean uh, the structure uh, uh, keyword uh, by union so what i do is i will use use uh, union uh, uh, as the uh, keyword and then uh, i will declare uh, a structure related to uh, union so anyway it, it has to be terminated by a semicolon it is as good as a structure nothing but a structure only thing that you have to replace structure with the union so i am uh, declaring a structure called uh, data which is basically union that means in memory it will be handled differently so what i do is uh, i will declare i as the integer uh, and then um, so i will declare another variable uh, float f so and uh, i will declare another character so say string uh, of uh, consisting of uh, say 20 characters okay so this is one okay structure so basically it is nothing but a structure it contains uh, three different data types integer float and character and uh, if it is defined as structure so then automatically it, uh, every uh, data type like uh, int float and character will have their own memory location separate memory location uh, but in case of union it will be uh, different so we'll see how uh, this is going to happen so i can actually uh, um, declare a variable called uh, data that is of structure data the capital d data is i mean starting with d so indicate the uh, uh, the structure type and this is the variable and then i uh, can clear this screen so let me see ok 
okay so uh, put comma over there and then so we want to know the size of the variable data because data uh, data is uh, union over here so it is nothing but basically a structure so a variant of structure you can say variant of structure okay let me save this say u1 let me compile this so you see that uh, there is no problem uh, with this uh, program so i try to explain uh, what is this uh, program doing so i am declaring here so union data type as uh, data capital uh, d t a t a t a and then uh, there are which consists of uh, this structure consists of actually three variables uh, integer float and character so specified by i f and s t r uh, character is having 20 characters so if it is a structure you know that uh, if you try to find out uh, uh, the uh, i mean if you declare any variable related to this kind of uh, data structure so automatically the memory allocated will be uh, 20 bytes for character and then uh, integer will have two and then uh, uh, float will have four so that means 2 plus 4 plus 20 so it will be 26 but uh, in case of uh, if, uh, whether it, uh, when it is declared as union so we'll see what happens so when i compile it is okay so when i run memory occupied by uh, by the data that is data variable is 20 so what is happening here so the 20 we can easily guess uh, that uh, it is the character uh, uh, variable which is an array of uh, 20 so that is the maximum size so whatever uh, it occupies so automatically for example if you uh, say str and uh, remove this uh, particular uh, now character string so that means uh, string is a single character so it occupies one byte so now if you try to compile and see see what happens you see memory occupied by the data is 4 so that means uh, so now what is happening so it is maximum is uh, floating uh, data type that occupies uh, for example uh, if uh, if i say integer array so i change this uh, integer array as 3 so that means 3 uh, integer uh, data type automatically now it will be 6 uh, so 2 into 3 is 6 so let me compile this and then uh, and run now you can see that memory occupied by data is 6 so what do we understand by this so that means union is a uh, kind of uh, handler you can say that Uh, it can handle the memory so uh, efficiently so that means it is allocating it is not wasting any data type uh, i mean uh, memory location so uh, it allocates the mag whatever the maximum size of the uh, data that can ha- that can occupy in the memory so if it is float it will uh, i mean uh, allow uh, float to be the uh, memory location and then uh, integer etc etc but one thing so when it allocates so you should also make room for Uh, uh storing the variable uh, uh, other data type like for example if float occupies four uh, i mean bytes uh, so then what about the integer what about the character so here uh, there is a trick so the same memory location it is like a uh, memory box uh, uh, which is common for storing everything so whatever that you want to store so you can store one at a time suppose you, uh once you want to store in only integer data type you can store integer suppose you want to store float data type so Uh, you can uh, store uh, uh, only the floating point numbers or you want to store only character you can store only character that means so whatever you want to put so depending upon what the maximum the uh, space you require depending upon that uh, it it will allocate but at only at one time so at any given point of time only one data type can occupy this memory location so in other words you know that memory is always linear so when it is linear so that means all the data types so will have the starting point as the i mean same so it will originate from the same memory location that is why it could able to so there is another trick over here so if it is intel processor then uh, the uh, intel uh, is uh, going to store the lower data type first uh, i mean lower lower byte and upper byte suppose if there are two bytes in the memory so we, uh, we know that uh, uh, there will be lower byte and the upper byte and lower byte is always allocated first and the upper byte will be allocated later so uh, this is called as uh, i mean uh, uh, little indian and big indian the, the kind of uh, uh, 
uh, architecture what we have with respect to CPU. Anyway, so that is not the uh, topic over here. So we have to understand that uh, only one data can occupy this memory when we declare a union uh, kind of uh, uh, data structure. So what we do is uh, we uh, how to prove that it is going to occupy, I mean uh, only one data type can occupy at one time given point of time. So in the memory. So that can be illustrated with another uh, uh, example. So what we do is uh, we write another program. So we keep uh, this integer uh, same and then uh, uh, float also same and then string uh, let it be uh, uh, having uh, uh, the 20 characters and then what I do is uh, I will try to allocate <coughs> Uh, some value uh, to it. So, what is that? So, for example, uh, we know that uh, data is the variable, so which is having a member called i. So, I will allocate uh, say value 10 to it, okay, and then I will access another uh, variable uh, union variable data, and uh, the member is f, and then uh, we say 220.5, so some value, some floating <coughs> point value. And then what I do is uh, uh, I will, uh, so I need to use some uh, library function over here, I am using string uh, copy to copy uh, something uh, data dot str, this is the variable I want to copy, this is the destination and the source is uh, now I am going to write, so which uh, can be like. Uh, C programming. Okay. So, now what is happening here? Uh, so, I am assigning the values. So, I is going to contain 10 and then uh, float uh, data is uh, it will be 220.5 and then uh, this is the uh, string data type which contains C programming. So, now uh, what I do is uh, I try to uh, print that over here. So, let me print. Uh, So, let me print, so what is available in a data, I mean member i, what it all contains. So, it is a, a number, so it is a decimal number, so percentage d and then uh, let me take to new line, then comma, so then data of, how to access the member data of i, so I think this is ok. So, now very similar to this, what I do is I will simply copy all these things. Uh, control k b and then uh, go to end control k k. So, these are all the editing uh, commands, so which you can use always. So, the second one is uh, the floating data type, so and it has to be uh, f over here and then uh, instead of i it has to be f correct and then uh, this will be a string and uh, I have to use percentages to print that and then uh, here also it should be str ok. So, then get ch ok return 0 everything is ok let me save this and then compile right. Now, you see what is happening here. So, <coughs> uh, i is uh, the member i is containing uh, some uh, 8 to 5 9 and then uh, number f is containing some uh, vague value. So, and it, you can say it, these are all corrupted values, ok. So, integer is also corrupted and uh, floating point is also corrupted. Only the final uh, value that is string value C program whatever I have entered, so is uh, ok with this. So, what do you understand uh, uh, by this? If you look at, so as I said that the memory allocated, uh, so will be of uh, 20 uh, bytes uh, which belongs to character. But uh, it should also allocate other data type like integer and floating point to occupy the same memory. So, the, there are three statements over here. So, wherein I am assigning uh, the value 10 to 20.5 uh, and then, then C programming, C programming like this. So, I am trying to uh, allocate 10 which is uh, initially an integer. So, it occupies in the memory and then, so it will be the same memory location will be overwritten by another value which is of float value. So, 220 by uh, 5. So, and then it will be overwritten by a C programming. So, finally, if you look at these data i and data f, that means the members uh, do not exist in the memory because uh, uh, as I said that uh, at any given point of time only one data type can occupy the memory. 
So what is occupying here is uh, only the final data type that is the string uh, data type which is uh, having a value called uh, uh, C programming. So that is why if you look at uh, um, if you look at the output, so integer is corrupted and uh, floating point is uh, corrupted only C programming the last final value is occupying the memory that is why we are getting the correct answer for that. So then how to handle if I then what is the use of uh, declaring all these uh, different data types uh, uh, when it cannot handle. So it can handle only at a given point of time. So it means suppose if there is only one seat. So whoever comes so in the order so automatically will be uh, given the place. Uh, e, e, suppose if, if it is a hierarchy or if it is the way we, we have to access those variables. So depending upon that only one can occupy the chair if that, uh, that is the case. So very similar to that uh, so here in the memory. So any data which is currently which is important which we have to process which we have to access and print uh, or do something else so can occupy the memory that we have to decide so when a variable has to be allowed to occupy the memory. So that means depending upon the sequence of uh, operations you have to uh, put these values into the memory of course compiler will take care of that compiler uh, cannot allocate uh, all the three variables. Uh, I mean uh, then you have to use uh, structure uh, uh, kind of uh, data uh, here because it is union so it is efficiently managing the uh, memory so that is why um, uh, we, we see that uh, uh, only one data is actually being printed. So what if uh, if somebody wants to uh, print uh, whatever that is currently available in the memory has to be printed. So what we do is we modify this uh, program a little bit. Uh, and then we try to see whether it has occupied whenever it is allocated it is going to occupy the memory or not. So what I do is uh, I go over here. I try to uh, print as soon as it is being uh, assigned. So that means after allocating so I make a modification over here. So I assigned value 10 over here and then uh, what I do is uh, I will print there and then and there. So that means uh, this uh, 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 integer data type is existing in the memory that is the value of 10. Okay. Similarly as soon as I allocate uh, uh, 220.5 so immediately I have to print. So where is that? So that statement is done by uh, this particular printf statement. So similarly, so when I copy the C programming string into that, so better I uh, print that immediately after assigning. Okay, so this clear screen should be at the beginning after the declaration, or even you can actually remove it anyway. So. So let me compile this, save this and then compile, okay there is no problem. You can see that now the output is uh, what is expected uh, of the program. So i is having uh, uh, 10 and then uh, f is containing 220.5 and then string is nothing but c programming. So that means, so if you look at the program here it is very uh, clear in that sense. So uh, data of i is having 10 immediately I am printing this data. So uh, there is no problem at all. So that is why it, is, it was able to print i is equal to 10 and then uh, here uh, f is equal to uh, 220.5 this memory is going to contain a floating point value immediately I am trying to print. So that is why it could able to print that also very similar to that I am copying this uh, C programming string into uh, the member called uh, dot str. So I am trying to print the same whatever there. So finally which is which one is occupying so it is the string string value that is C programming is occupying the current memory location which is allocated and uh, having uh, 20 bytes uh, in nature. So that means the same memory location can be utilized so as and when it is required by a, a, a type of uh, data type. So that means these variables can occupy the same memory location. So that means it is an efficient management uh, of the memory so that is why so union can be uh, very uh, handy uh, in handling uh, uh, this kind of uh, uh, memory problem. So that is why 
So it helps a lot in uh, um, utilizing the better memory location and your program whatever you write using uh, union kind of data. So can definitely be efficient uh, than other uh, uh, data structure. So this is one of the way of uh, uh, handling uh, the structure variables. Uh, uh, what if for example, uh, suppose if there is a situation uh, say uh, the boolean operation or the logical operations uh, suppose you want to make uh, say whether you want uh, you want to fill in the uh, blanks like uh, uh, in a form suppose if the person uh, uh, details uh, are being uh, entered so and then uh, the person is whether the male or uh, female like uh, uh, gender and then uh, whether married or unmarried or I mean bachelor or uh, 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 widowed etc etc so the, these status can be indicated by uh, one bit a single bit so then suppose if you declare it as a character then there will be 8 bits suppose if it is a, an, uh, I mean 8 bits will not be used as you know that if it is declared as unsigned character then all the 8 bits can be used and uh, what you are going to use is only one uh, I mean bit location so that means any number so 8 bits uh, for example uh, to 2 to the power of uh, uh, 7 uh, I mean 0 to 7 so can be stored in that so uh, then uh, I mean 2 to the power of 7 is uh, 250 uh, 128 and then 2 to the power of 8 is 150 I mean 256 so I mean these are the two uh, I mean unique values uh, I mean up to which you can store the value so that means uh, the lot of memory bits uh, are being wasted over here so because you have to store only one value uh, say for example true or false uh, say 1 or 0 so false can be true and then I mean false if it is uh, say 1 that means uh, the flag value is 1 so then it becomes false then uh, if the true variable is having 1 then it becomes true like that. So it means um, uh, these kind of uh, uh, bit values uh, can be stored but you are going to waste a lot of uh, memory so if uh, properly not uh, managed so then how to manage these kind of uh, uh, bits so then. Um, we know that software is always uh, uh, byte oriented and uh, the hardware is always bit oriented uh, uh, though it manipulates uh, in, in terms of I mean it can store and it can retrieve in terms of bits uh, but uh, the software like compiler or uh, any other program can always handle these kind of uh, uh, values only in terms of bytes uh, it cannot handle bits so then how to make uh, software understand uh, or to handle only bits. So then uh, what we uh, find uh, another way so is nothing but the bit fields. So what are these bit fields? So these can vary these are variables with uh, predefined width for example I want to utilize only one one bit. So then uh, n is equal to one so that means the num uh, the width of the uh, bit field is one so then it is 2 to the power of n minus one. So how many values uh, uh, you can represent? or the what is the maximum values you can represent will be 2 to the power of n minus 1. So 2 to the power of n is 1 that means 2 minus 1 is 1 that means you can store either 1 or 0 anything like that that means so you can store only one value into the maximum value can be 1 suppose if n is 2 or n is 3 so if n is 3 2 to the power of 3 uh, then 2 to the power of 3 is 8 uh, minus 1 is 7 that means it can be uh, uh, 0 to 7 that means the maximum value it can contain is 7 but 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 these are the values that you can store and each value can represent something in the real world. So this is how uh, we can actually declare a variable with the predefined width so these are called as bit fields. So we will see how to uh, define uh, uh, this or declare this so then I will uh, tell you what is the I mean uh, the syntax uh, for this so we are actually dealing with uh, what are called as. Uh, what are called as uh, bit fields so these are called as uh, bit uh, so bit field will have a syntax what is the syntax it is nothing but a variation of structure so structure is the keyword so and it will have a body and uh, terminated by a semicolon and uh, what is that uh, it will have a type data type it can be integer it can be character it can be float etc etc and then uh, type the name of the uh, variable and then put a colon over here it is not semicolon it is a colon and then so enter the width width factor of that so width can be 3 width, it can be any number so it can be n so this is the syntax of the uh, bit field 
so we will see how to uh, understand uh, these uh, kind of uh, bit fields and uh, what we do is uh, we will deal with a uh, program and we will define a simple structure and uh, and later so we will uh, try to find out uh, so what is the uh, the um, memory allocated uh, in case of it is defined I mean if the structure is defined so with the bit fields so what I do is uh, I will simply declare I will reconstruct the entire program now so initially so I am going to define a simple structure so this is going to be a simple structure so what is the keyword keyword is structure it will have a body so let me define an unsigned because I want to utilize uh, unsigned int so when you say int uh, there will be two bytes so that means all 16 bits will be uh, utilized so you can say true is a variable similarly I am going to declare unsigned another int and then say false so with this I am going to create a variable called status 1 so this is one of the kind ok I am declaring uh, a structure over here now what I do is I will modify I will copy and paste uh, this uh, the same uh, declaration what I have done over here so th this is uh, defining a define a, a simple structure with bit fields so this is not this is a normal declaration uh, the earlier one okay what I do is uh, you know that uh, unsigned int is a data type and this is the name of the so I have to add something to it so I have to put a colon over here and then specify the bit field I mean the width of the bit field so it's very similar to this so that means it can contain so the width of the uh, bit field is one over here so in both the cases so and then I call this as uh, status 2 So these are the uh, let me save this what I do is uh, BF1 okay. okay so now what I do is I will write this uh, main function int main and there will be what is called as a return statement return 0 prior to that uh, I will put a get ch what all it should contain let me see so what I do is I will initially clear the screen and then I try to print memory allocated for status variable 1 is what let me take it to next line so and then it is size of status because that is the variable what we are declaring is status 1 is one of the variable ok and similarly I will copy this will duplicate this is for status 2 status 2 so let me save this ok so if everything is ok it should to compile with success yes and then let me run it memory allocated for status 1 is 4 
memory allocated for status 2 is 1 what is this you may get confused what I do is I will modify a little bit over here bytes let me add something to it over here ok so save this and then compile and run run memory allocated for status 1 with 4 bytes and memory allocated for status 2 so that structure is different so the first structure which is nothing but the uh, uh, structure variable called status 1 so is a normal structure so wherein there are uh, two uh, uh, data type I mean two variables with the data type integer unsigned integer so it will be you know that under DOS or uh, with DOS which is a 16 bit operator I mean uh, say operating system uh, so each and every uh, integer data type will be allocated uh, uh, with the uh, two bytes nothing but 16 bits uh, so there are two variables uh, uh, true and false so which is of integer data type so that means there will be two bytes so uh, I mean uh, 2 plus 2 4 bytes so uh, totally uh, there will be two, uh, 4 bytes so in the status number 1 that means it is a simple structure so uh, wherein so a normal data type is declared in the second one so come back over here so so in a simple structure with a bit fields so I am just modified uh, over here so so wherein uh, this integer true and the integer false has been defined as the uh, bit fields so with uh, the field length I mean field width as 1 so that means there are only two uh, bits that can be stored over here so that means so uh, what it uh, it is doing is uh, 1 plus 1 is 2 bits so that means it requires a maximum of 2 bits so in that case what is the memory allocated so if you look at uh, uh, over here so the uh, memory allocated for status uh, 1 is 4 bytes and this is only 1 byte so that means because 2 bits so uh, to store 2 bits so you, you 1 byte is uh, more than sufficient so that means it allocates only 1 byte uh, to that so thereby you are actually saving 3 bytes of memory so this is a small program which actually uh, cat catering to only this uh, but uh, think of a huge program wherein a uh, lot of memory uh, is uh, required so then in such cases uh, you can see that uh, you can save a lot of memory so by uh, utilizing bit fields so bit field is a variant of structure so wherein it can be efficiently managed uh, I mean you can utilize so the uh, the memory so by defining uh, any uh, length of the bit field it can be 1 2 3 4 5 6 etc so you can actually look into the uh, maximum value or the range in which the value can be stored in these uh, uh, things so that means um, it depends on uh, the, the value n that is nothing but the uh, bit field what we do is uh, uh, we try to understand with uh, uh, I mean the, these uh, uh, bit fields so with a with another uh, program so wherein I am going to define what if uh, if I am trying to utilize for example here in this case uh, you, you have seen that uh, uh, the memory allocated is only one byte so that means a maximum of uh, 0 to 7 so that means all the values can be stored over here suppose uh, uh, I mean 7 bits can be utilized so wherein we are using only two, uh, 2 bits suppose if the value is beyond these uh, number of bits uh, what we have allocated or the compiler has allocated so we try to understand this uh, by writing another uh, uh, program so which is again, again a small uh, program what I do is uh, unsigned int uh, instead of true uh, I modify this as uh, say age ok and then I do not want this then instead of status 1 I am going to declare a variable called age ca with capital uh, A and then I do not want all these things come back to main what I do is uh, I will access the variable called age because that is the age is the uh, structure member and then uh, dot age is the member in that so which is an integer data type so I am trying to store only 4 the value 4 and uh, I will try to print
the size of edge percentage d so always this will be in terms of bytes what i do is uh, size of okay yes so size of uh, edge is 2 bytes you see that because it is been declared as uh, integer so it allocates uh, i mean 2 bytes let me clear this screen over here then what i do is uh, i will try to print the value what is the value so value is actually has to be 4 so because i am assigning the edge as 4 so let me see whether that value has been stored or not so which can be age of h is equal to percentage d and then how to access that member so this is the way so let me try to compile and then see so now in memory there are two bytes the value stored is only four so uh, if you look at uh, the four so and it occupies only uh, I mean it is within, within the range of uh, for example 2 to the power of 2 uh, is nothing but 4 minus 1 so that means 0 to 3 value that means 2 to the power of 3 3 bits are enough to store this value uh, number 4 uh, that means uh, 2 bytes out of 2 bytes I mean 16 bits only 3 bytes are being used so the remaining 13 bits uh, so will be uh, wasted over here so what I do is uh, I will try to allocate uh, another value so you can see over here so I am going to define now a width factor so as 3 let me save this let me save this so now the bit field uh, width is 3 so uh, let me compile and then run you can see that uh, when uh, it is declared as uh, I mean bit field with uh, 3 bits so it is allocating 1 byte that means always it can handle 1 by 2 byte etc etc memory will be allocated but how many bits out of that you are going to utilize so that we can actually restrict we can utilize all the bits so I mean uh, say if there are 8 bits you can utilize all the 8 bits for storing different values so that is the uh, I mean uh, trick uh, over here so I am trying to uh, put 4 into it so out of uh, 8 bits uh, only the uh, 3 bits are being used so now what I do is uh, I am trying to allocate uh, something different over here instead of uh, uh, 4 I am trying to put 7 over here so then I am trying to I will try to print uh, the same thing over here trying to print that uh, value ok so now let me save this and then compile you can see here there is no problem in that so it is also printing that means it is it could able to store the value 7 over here so it can it could able to store 4 it could be able to store uh, 7 over here so let me change a little bit modify this program so instead of 7 what i do is i will try to put uh, 8 over here so what is the bit field we are telling that me though memory is allocated 8 bits that is 1 byte so I am restricting myself to only use 3 bits so 2 to the power of 3 is 8 8 minus 1 is 7 that means a maximum value is 7 which we have already uh, shown you here in the previous earlier case that uh, uh, age of age is equal to 7 I could able to store and print uh, the same value over here but now I am trying to go beyond that so 2 to the power of 8 so 8 cannot be stored over here say uh, let us see whether it can handle because uh, it can it could be stored only with using maximum of 4 bits so 2 to the power of uh, uh, 4 is uh, 16 uh, and minus 1 so will be 15 so we will see what happens uh, in this case compile this then run now you can see that instead of 8 uh, it is printing only 0 so that means it cannot handle what it does it will not give output so
so it simply prints zero so that means always uh, we should remember so how uh, this uh, bit field uh, when we declare so as a structure so can handle only the bits allocated it cannot go beyond that so that is why we should uh, know what is the range in which uh, these values can be stored uh, and uh, we should allocate only the values within that range so if we allocate beyond that automatically we cannot uh, i mean uh, compiler cannot handle so that is why uh, when when we handle i mean but that is the best way to handle the i mean uh, memory and we can drastically bring down the memory required uh, uh, for uh, i mean uh, during the time of execution there are of course uh, some restrictions uh, uh, in uh, bit fields so like uh, a bit field cannot be an array of bit fields cannot be allowed it is not allowed so number 2 is uh, cannot read the values of bit field uh, through scanner we cannot input we can only assign like this so age of age is equal to 8 or 7 or 4 etc etc we cannot uh, read uh, uh, through directly through uh, uh, a keyboard uh, using a scanf statement uh, but what we can do is we can use another uh, variable uh, through uh, scanf function and then probably that value can be assigned to this uh, particular uh, value so it can be over i mean uh, uh, i mean uh, we can solve that problem using uh, uh, another variable but anyway that is going to be a waste of memory so that is why normally we directly assign the value to the bit fields so the address of the bit field cannot be taken so it is not possible uh, then the pointer can also cannot handle uh, this bit field but there is another possibility anyway that is not under the purview of the uh, syllabus so if value is uh, out of range so we have seen that it is going to output uh, uh, zero from over here so that means uh, i think uh, um, by these uh, uh, few programs we could able to understand uh, uh, the uh, bit field as well as union as well as structure so along with that i hope uh, uh, the functions and the string uh, uh, i mean chapter which i uh, taught uh, will be very useful uh, for you uh, what i suggest is uh, Uh, always uh, try to uh, handle or try to learn uh, every c program only every co concept of c program only by writing a program and trying to uh, look into the memory then uh, how compiler can handle whether it allocates memory or not so all such things are uh, a matter of concern uh, the practicality is very very important so that is why i suggest you uh, the turbo c is one of the basic compiler and uh, where you really learn uh, uh, c programming so uh i think uh, uh, these are the few chapter which have been allocated for me so and uh, i have done my uh, uh, whatever that is uh, possible uh, from my side so uh, best i could be able to present in front of you so uh, i hope uh, this will be very useful in uh, uh, dealing with uh, uh, these uh, kind of uh, uh, different uh, chapters uh, what i suggest you is read every book uh, uh, that is available on uh, c programming and uh, always uh, try to be uh, very practical and uh, uh, what can i say enjoy uh, c programming and only by doing so and e even if you don't look into uh, any textbook uh, better start mine uh, uh, using c uh, consists of only 32 keywords and i think uh, most of the keywords uh, are uh, already handled uh, for you in uh, various uh, earlier sessions and uh, uh, from my side i think uh, uh this is the best uh, uh, this is not the uh, the final uh, i mean uh, clarity uh, what i have done is uh, put uh, my best effort to clarify all the topics which are given to me uh, i think uh, uh, the time is already uh, um, coming to an end and anyway it is uh, really uh, um, funny and uh, i enjoyed uh, uh, every uh, class of it i hope uh, you also have enjoyed uh, the Uh, the topics which i have uh, taught and uh, hope uh, it can trigger some of you to uh, go directly and, uh, and uh, take uh, courage in uh, handling uh, the c programming and uh, writing your own programs and meddling with that whenever you get errors uh, automatically so you should not get frustrated you should enjoy those errors and try to debug it so and there are other uh, lot of compilers uh, like uh, eclipse or netbeans uh, when you go to higher level and uh, definitely uh, try to make use of those kind of uh, compilers uh, and uh, it is uh, i think uh, it is time up it is uh, goodbye uh, from uh, mahadevaya over here and uh, thank you
uh, thank you one and all so uh, happy c programming